Hi, welcome to 5 Minutes of Torah with B.I. Rabbi. I'm Rabbi Adam Stein. You can see behind me these beautiful cherry blossoms that are starting to open up. I'm just so excited. It's obviously spring. It started uh, a week or two ago, I think, officially, and Pesach is coming. So it must be the time of the year for the flowers to start blooming. Uh, and they really are beautiful, but what I, what I want to tell you is beautiful about uh, my, my role in the community that, that gets me excited uh, week after week and month after month. As a, as a rabbi, as a clergy person, when I get to be involved and connect with families who are celebrating life's moments or commemorating life's not so happy moments, the life cycle events are, are really just uh, one of the joys of the, of the rabbinate for me. Uh, really so, so meaningful. I was at a bris today celebrating, bring new life into this world. Uh, we had a conversion recently. Someone's so excited to join the Jewish people. Uh, there's, there have been several deaths in our congregation, people really connecting to their tradition and their community over a, a, a sad time, but finding real meaning. Our minion has been just overflowing recently, and many of the people there have been saying Kaddish in the first seven or 30 days uh, after a loss, or the first 11 months after the loss of a, of a parent. My first day as a rabbi, actually, first day on the job as a rabbi in 2009 in Kansas City, I think I had a funeral a bris, uh, a divorce actually, a, a get um, delivery, and, and a board meeting. That's very important. So all the life cycle events. Uh, not sure if we, um, uh, if we had every single one that, that day, a conversion, but uh, today I had a lot, and this week I've had, had a lot. And what I want to say about that is I think it reminds me of, of something in the, the Torah portion, where in the very beginning of the book of Vayikra, or Leviticus, the first parasha in Leviticus, called Vayikra. And it's called Vayikra because of that first word of the parasha, first word of the book, Vayikra. He called out. God called out El Moshe, to Moshe. And that word Vayikra has an aleph at the end. And that aleph is written in the Sefer Torah, in the book of the Torah by a scribe, very small. It's the, I think it's the only letter that's written small like that. There are a few little marks in the Torah. Rabbi Infeld taught about this recently. Sometimes dots over letters. Um, sometimes uh, a vav that is split in two with a crack in it purposefully. This one is a small aleph. And one of the major teachings about this by many commentators in our tradition is that it's to indicate that, that Moses uh, really made himself small. He, Moses was very, very humble. Uh, Moses uh, didn't see himself as this big, huge aleph, but a small aleph. Uh, one of the ways we know that Moses was humble is because it, towards the end of the book of Deuteronomy, Moses announces to everyone. Uh, traditionally, we say that Moses wrote the Torah, uh, or got it from God. Moses writes, I, Moses, am the most humble man in the history of the earth. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it is pretty funny that Moses says he's the most hum humble man ever. Uh, but what it makes me think of is, is the role that we have uh, when we're connecting with other people. Uh, when we're helping them through a, a difficult time or a happy time, whether we're just a friend or a family member or a rabbi uh, like I am in these, in these situations, we're really in the place of uh, contracting and making ourselves a bit small so that the emphasis on the grief or on the joy can be on the family, the happy parents or grandparents, maybe the mourning children, uh, or those going through just a, a time that, that needs some, some support. Now, we all need some support, of course, to get through Pesach. It's not the easiest uh, time. Um, getting the food, getting the, um, the, the, the house ready. We have the all-important campaign of JFS, Jewish Family Services Ma'od Ma Team, to donate money to make sure people have food for Pesach. And also, we have two wonderful seders coming up on our shul, both on the second night, which is Thursday the uh, 6th of April, I believe. Uh, one of them will be in the late afternoon, starting about 4.35 uh, for the young families in our ballroom. And then downstairs, uh, starting around 7.30 or 8, is the adult seder. And I really encourage you to sign up for those. It will be wonderful seders. Uh, and I wish you all a Chag Kasher V'Sameach, a happy and kosher Pesach. And Shabbat Shalom.